Hello everyone and welcome to my TBR wrap up for May 2014 and these are all the books I read in May 2014 and uh, I had a goal of 9 books. I read those 9 books plus 2 additional ones so that was pretty cool. A total of 11 books read this month. So I uh... I'll just start. I'm just trying to see what order I wear them. Uh, and what date? On May the 3rd, I wear Under the Never Sky number 2 through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi. And this month, I wanted to finish the Under the Never Sky trilogy. After that, I finished Under the Never Sky number 2.5, which is a ebook novella that I read on iBooks. And. I finished that on May the 4th, and then on May the 7th, I finished a, another book that I got, I books so I can't show you. It's uh, After the End, number one, After the End, by uh, Amy Plum, which is a brand new trilogy, and, and it looked pretty cool. The description sounded pretty cool, and I wanted to get day one. The only way I, could, I wanted to get the physical version, but the only way I could get it was through iBooks. So... That was my, basically, my book of the month, because I've been buying, like, one book a month. Well, actually, this month I bought two, because I still had money over from the ebook settlement. I got quite a few dollars from that. And then after that, on May the 9th, I finished the first two stories of a uh, more modern, translated Gulliver's Travels, and by Jonathan Swift, and... Uh, I, I don't, the, 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 the last two stories went on there, so I'll have to look around for them, maybe read them later. Yeah, I, I, I started reading quite a few ebooks this month, and then after that, I did my second read through. The first one was on Kindle, and I got the physical version, uh, last year, and, uh, it is Fledgling by Octavia E. Butler. Awesome vampire book here. And, uh, great book to reread. One of my favorites, that one is. And then on May the 14th, I finally got around to the third and final book in the Under the Never Sky trilogy, which is Into the Steel Blue by Veronica Rossi. As you can see here, the Under the Never Sky trilogy is a really great trilogy. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I don't think I have a review up yet. But it will. a review of this trilogy will be up soon. I just got. I got my dates. If you can see that here. Of when I read each book on my. On, on my uh, PlayStation Vita. Uh, and then on May the 19th. I finished the 11th book in the Morganville Vampires series, which is Last Breath. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy book in this series, and it's waning, which means I cannot walk and read, which I like to do. It's been waning a lot lately. And this is the last book that I currently own of the series. So I don't have the next four books, so I don't know when I'll get away into reading the next book in the series. I gotta buy them first. Uh, on May the 22nd, I read, we read another book by Christopher Pike. I've been rereading one a month of his main novels, and that is Last Act. And this is pretty much like my least favorite of his novels. It's still a pretty good novel, but it's like, like my least favorite of his and it was really hard to get like get through the first half of the book in, in the wee wee but the second half bit so it's definitely a good novel just like my least favorite of his which is still great because he's such a great author and then uh that was the 20 on may the 24th by rl stein i read uh i think it's the fourth one no, the fifth one. 
I think. The fifth book in the Phil Street uh, series, which is missing. And, uh, I mean, it's basically part for the way for Phil Street, but uh, it had a pretty crazy plot twist up in here. That uh, just comes out of nowhere. Just crazy fun. It's not really that great of a novel, but it's just kind of like fun to read in between big novels. The Arnold Stein books are, the Phil Street novels are. And then that was it for my TBR for uh, May. And then I read two books. The next one is Some Goes Are by Courtney Summers. And this was... Seriously, I read this. It, it's like... It's like 246 pages and I read it in one day. And if you can see here, there's quite a few words on each page too. So, I got, I got really hooked into this. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. It was just, it was crazy awesome. And then, last but not least, another digital book, this time on Kindle. Kindle has this Kindle Worlds thing where people can post fan fiction of, like, TV shows and stuff. And I, I previously read a Vampire Diaries fan fiction, and now I'm reading another one, which is part of a trilogy called the Disparate Love Trilogy. And I read the first book in that trilogy on May the 29th, and that was the last book I read this month. It seems like a pretty good bit of fan fiction, and I really like this fan fiction. I plan to buy more Vampire Diaries fan fiction on Kindle Worlds. So, yeah, that was it for this month. 11 books. Awesome. Thanks for watching, and look out for my TBR for June coming soon. Until next time, Wahoo. Thanks for watching this video, and if you like this video, check out my book reviews, and also make video game-related reviews.